Hi dear students, uh, uh, welcome back to another session of uh, uh, human resource management that is the session of 56. Uh, in this session that I am going to discuss on the topic role and importance of performance appraisal. Uh, this is a, a very good uh, topic to discuss by giving uh, many examples which is uh, uh, relating in the uh, current uh, scenario or which is relating to the current market particularly in the job market as well. Let's discuss uh, uh, in detail what it is all about uh, the role and the importance of performance appraisal. Uh, before I am going to discuss the role and importance of performance appraisal dear students once again I want to uh, notice to you people that we discussed uh, uh, objectives, components, types and then methods of performance appraisal in the previous session and also we discussed traditional uh, methods that uh, we are using uh, by evaluating the performance appraisal of the employee. So uh, why we need all those methods uh, we know that so uh, we need method because of uh, we let's uh, see that what type of role and then importance are to be identified uh, under performance appraisal let's discuss in detail by having uh, this session that uh, the introductory part of the performance appraisal and also what are those role and then importance incorporated uh, to discuss in which area that I am going to discuss let's see discuss about uh, particularly on the uh, role and importance of performance appraisal. Uh, in most organizations appraisals are conducted only once per year. Organization usually conduct appraisals in order to improve organizational effectiveness by providing vital information pertaining to the suitability and capability of its uh, human resources. Performance appraisal is usually conducted by the organizations for administrative and also for uh, developmental purposes. So this is why we need the performance appraisal and what type of significance the performance appraisal will show. Um, we will have this introductory part particularly in my first slide. Let's move on to the uh, my uh, second slide of my PPT that where I uh, mentioned that is the role and importance of performance appraisal in these areas is to be discussed which are mentioned below. Number one is human resource planning, number two is recruitment and selection, number three is training and development, number fourth one is career planning and then development, number fifth one is compensation and then number sixth one is employee relations. So these are all the six uh, importance has to be discussed under performance appraisal. Let's see how it could be uh, relevant for nowadays uh, job market and also in the how nowadays human resource management management are seeing signified particularly while we are having the performance appraisal. So let's discuss in detail of the all six importance of performance appraisal uh, in which areas that I have taken particularly under the uh, human resource management. Number one is human resource planning. Performance appraisal generates significant relevant and useful information about the uh, promotability and the potentiality of the employees. This information is used to assess the organizations internally, supply of human resources and availability of managerial personnel for success, succession of that planning. See this human resource planning that I discussed in the chapter 2 or module 2 of this uh, syllabus of human resource management in detail. Without having human resource planning, I don't think so that human resource manager is going to do much things and then much what you call the movements particularly in the organization or in the company as well. 
performance appraisal which will always generate the what do you call the information of the promotability and then potentiality of the employee only when the human resource planning are all together are making what do you call uh, the validity one or it may extend it to the good quantum of the uh, signification that we are going to consider this information is used to assess the organization uh, uh, by internal supply of human resources and also the availability of the managerial personnel for the succession of the planning see uh, human resource planning is all together are going to be uh, made out by the organization uh, by having uh, what you call uh, the scientific uh, person those who are having skills and then knowledge and then expertise in that uh, uh, human resource planning they only uh, talk about the uh, which will uh, the uh, performance appraisal where it, it will be signifying and then how uh, the, it will be useful and what type of relevance are there by having promotability and then potentiality of that employee all together will always be the internal supply of that human resource of that availability uh, managerial personal for succession of the planning particularly in human resource planning that to do in human Human resource management that altogether we will consider. Uh, this is what all about the human resource planning. Let's move on to the second one is uh, recruitment and selection. Uh, recruitment and selection again it is a broader uh, concept that we discussed in the uh, uh, what do you call it in the chapter 4 that the, the title of the chapter 4 is all about recruitment and then selection in this uh, recruitment and then selection we discussed about uh, the training programs designing of the training programs recruitment process recruitment policy and then selection process and then how placement and then induction has to be taken place under the uh, what do you call human resource uh, uh, management particularly in that organization altogether we discussed it under uh, the fourth chapter that is on human resource management uh, here uh, the thing is recruitment and selection is also one of the best uh, importance of performance appraisal where uh, uh, recruitment and selection or evaluation made in the performance appraisal can be used to find out the particular areas of knowledge, skills and experience possessed by the successful performers. This information can be used to review effectiveness of the recruitment and selection procedures and practices so that the right type of candidates can be selected for the right job. See, when I discussed about the procedures of the job analysis in the chapter 3, where the job analysis and then design uh, titled uh, that chapter, I discussed in detail of the practices of the uh, job designing and then job analysis where the effectiveness of the recruitment and then selection has to be done by the company. A right type of candidate should always be selected for the right job which is always based on the qualification, age and then skills and also knowledge. So this is how things could be there in the recruitment and then selection which is one of the best importance of uh, performance appraisal. Number three is training and development. Performance appraisal helps in identifying development needs of the employees. This information can be used to devise suitable training and development programs to enable employees to overcome their weaknesses and improve their strengths. Improvement in employees performance will bring about improvement in their department performance also. See, if any employee is going to get recruitment and then selection under, and, uh, under uh, that organization having a good satisfaction job, uh, uh, after, after all he will undergone with the training and development where he is going to take that training and then development, definitely there should be a, a performance appraisal should be uh, more, uh, um, what do you call, uh, given concentration from that employee because the identification of the development should always consider as far as his individual development are concerned. Uh, the information can be used to devise the suitable training and development programs where we are discussing the designing of the training programs which will enable employees to overcome their weaknesses particularly to improve the strength of that employee to do the work uh, in uh, according to the workforce from that employee uh, particularly in uh, 
the organization improvement in the employees or improvement in the skills or improvement in the good performance it may leads to bring about the improvement of the department performance also so this is what here also in the government sector the individual development is represent the department development the department development will always represent the institution development like that the uh, the uh, institution is there because department is there department is there because that individual is working in that department as well so this is how things could be considered positively as far as the importance of performance appraiser are concerned training and development plays a crucial role to signify the performance appraisal a fourth one is career planning and development feedback guidance from reporting officers can enable employees to bring about changes in their behaviors attitudes skills and knowledge and set realistic goals for themselves uh, employees can also be counseled to develop their potential for particular types of work keeping in view their strengths and then weaknesses that is all together that we are going to consider the guidance of the feedback will be reporting to the uh, uh, what do you call officer which will enable uh, the employees which will changes their behavior attitudes skill and knowledge and then a set of realistic goals for themselves are are, are, are always carried out under career planning and then development uh, employees can also be counseled to develop their potential for particular type of work keeping in view their strength and then weaknesses so this is what things could be uh, as far as the keeping in the point of view of employee he will always think on the by having uh, the analysis of swat swot strength weaknesses opportunity and then threats if there is a, a opportunity is there then that employee must always uh, uh, go, uh, go gone through from that career planning and then development so that he may face uh, the challenging of three threatens which will appears in the work uh, condition which will appears in the working condition where he is working according to the workforce from the organization so if he is not under the uh, career planning and development i don't think so he will having uh, the strength uh, he will going to have a little bit of weaknesses that he must face under that organization all together which will keep on the what do you call uh, or face realistic goals which having uh, the behavior attitude and then thinking level of the by having also skills and uh, skills and knowledge uh, of the officer where the guidance of feedback uh, uh, will be taken particularly from that employee so this is what the employee must undergone uh, that performance appraisal uh, which will uh, 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 signifies the uh, career planning and then development will also be one of the uh, major role to be placed in uh, performance appraisal uh, fifth one is compensation information gathered through performance appraisal provides inputs for making decisions concerning salary administration financial incentives appreciations additional responsibilities promotions etc on the basis of this information achievers can be rewarded and poor performance can be given appropriate signals see this is what things could be which will see compensation signifies the performance appraisal altogether where the information should always be uh, collected through uh, provide a performance appraisal and then the uh, input of to making the decision concerning salary administration and then financial incentives appreciations and then additional responsibilities altogether will be considering by including promotions on the basis of the information achievers can be rewarded and poor performance can be given appropriate signals this is what the uh, sixth uh, uh, significance of uh, the performance appraisal that is compensation uh, last but not it is least which is most important as far as uh, the uh, development and then effectiveness of the organization uh, are concerned that is employee relations employees can have a continuous dialogue with their managers for carrying um, and also clarifying misunderstandings and explaining mutual expectations they can thus motivated uh, uh, and developed for better performance uh, and uh, 
higher productivity and data gathered through performance appraisal can also be used for making decisions concerning transfer, demotion or dismissal. See, employee relations is very much important uh, particularly in the organization or concern because there must be a, a good quality of uh, performance has to be given by the employee at the same time there should be a uh, balance between uh, employee and then employer should be taken place when we are going to have a, a continuous dialogue uh, uh, with their manager will always be clarifying misunderstanding between the uh, organization or the employer or with the employee which will always uh, uh, explaining the mutual expectations that what type of the issue that they are expecting altogether they will discuss in detail. The thing is they can be motivated and developed for the purpose of better performance uh, to the companies and also higher productivity to that organization. Collecting the data of that performance appraisal is one that where the evaluation process has to be taken then the result is making the decisions and then concerning transfer either it may be for the demotion or dismissal should be appears which is purely depending upon performance appraisal. So altogether the thing is that uh, uh, employee relations is always uh, signifies the while evaluating the performance appraisal. So dear students these are all the six uh, 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 what do you call a role and then importance of performance appraisal number one is uh, human resource planning number two is recruitment and then selection number three is training and development uh, number fourth one is career planning and then development number fifth one is compensation and then last one is employee relations uh, sometimes an employee's performance in one position or under one manager may not be an accurate indicator of job success in such uh, cases, a transfer may be called for and the employee can be tried in other uh, another job or understand uh, that uh, you may go to under another manager or you may do the other job like that we may have uh, uh, to communicate easily to having this performance appraisal. A persistent substandard performance despite opportunities to improve it may result in a demotion or even dismissal uh, which will result uh, on the basis of performance appraisal. Performance appraisal provides uh, legal and organizational justifications for such decisions where uh, the manager altogether is going to take it out uh, particularly in during uh, by evaluating the performance appraisal. Uh, evaluation of the performance appraisal is uh, uh, one process where altogether when we are going to uh, consider uh, that issue uh, pertaining to or keeping in the view of uh, employee it may be result uh, the good performance and then better performance or you, you may get the uh, transfers or you may get the uh, promotional transfer with all together what at the end uh, the performance appraisal will always under the decision making and also to have a little bit of forward planning as far as the performance appraisal of that employee are concerned. So dear students this is what is all about uh, the uh, role and importance of performance appraisal. In most of the cases organizations appraisal are conducted only once per year. But uh, somehow in the multinational corporation usually they are having the online uh, appraisals uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, twice in a year or thrice in a year or quarterly they will collect appraisal to evaluate the uh, employee. Organization usually conduct appraisal in order to improve organizational effectiveness by providing vital information where there is a suitability and capability of the human resource altogether we will consider. A performance appraisal is usually conducted by the organization for administrative and also for the departmental purposes that what actually we discussed. See here the things could be uh, employee relation and also sometimes employees performance uh, will always to be the matter. Uh, uh, the, that manager may, uh, will have to be accurate uh, as far as the job success are concerned. Uh, yeah, while in regard to the job success, it may be the 
uh, you may get promotion under the CAS that is cadre assessment scheme uh, particularly in that department or in that organization and the employee can be tried to uh, in another job or under another uh, manager if uh, that job satisfaction is not uh, uh, get uh, uh, getting by that employee this is what the persistent substandard performance uh, opportunities to improve it may result in uh, demotion and also even uh, dismissal of that employee so altogether dear, dear students the performance appraisal provides a legal and then organizational justification for uh, uh, such decision taken by the organization which is not having uh, any type of partiality or bifurcation which is always uh, with uh, what you call uh, they must follow uh, with uh, impartiality um, in uh, while evaluating the performance appraisal so uh, dear students i will stop here in the last uh, slides obviously uh, will which will, which will uh, shows you that the source of reference uh, dear students please follow these source of reference for uh, your uh, uh, collecting the study material and also for the purpose of uh, to get more knowledge and to get uh, uh, more knowledge relating to the uh, what do you call uh, the purpose of examination so dear students i will stop with the session of 56 where i discussed a role and importance of performance appraisal uh, again i will come up with uh, um, new session uh, with new topic uh, with this bye bye thank you thank you very much dear students